Hey folks, welcome back to my second of four of these Black Series three and three quarter inch um, action figure reviews. This time I've got Jin Erso, Sergeant Jin Erso from Row One. Just got my tickets today. Well, at the day of recording, I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to upload it, but I got my tickets, so I'll be there at the midnight session. Um, I'm going to go in the afternoon because I took the day off work. Going on the Friday with a bunch of dudes at work, and I'm going at Saturday again with my girlfriend. So. Four times in four, th four times in three days. It wasn't quite the three times I did in one day last year. <laughs> that was crazy. Anyway, quick look at the packaging. You can uh, pause the other one. Pause it and read the top there if you like. And if you speak any of those other languages, you can read them too. It says the same thing. I'm guessing. Anyway, again, do you know so? Nothing too exciting about the packaging, but the figure, another fantastic one. This one's really cool as well. She's very nicely done. Again, I'm just turn that light away a little bit so it's not so, not so harsh. And hopefully, you guys are still getting a good look at this. So again, same thing with the blaster on the uh, as the Cassian. Comes in three parts. So it pops off at the stock. Now there is a tiny little peg, it appears to be a peg, I'm not sure if it's an actual peg or just a detail. Um, but I can't find anywhere to peg that to, so that doesn't mean anything. And I'm not sure either, but I wonder if this is what she's, you see her running through Scarif, the beaches of Scarif carrying something. And it looks like it could be that, but I feel like it's something else, I feel like it's something completely different, but... Um, yeah, just got that just got that feeling from looking at this thing. Anyway, it's probably not. And uh, yeah, we've got the front here. Which pops off there. So that almost looks like an antenna. Just looking at that now. Anyway, this is one I'll probably uh, keep separated. I like the Jin's just got a simple blaster pistol. And uh, it fits well in her holster. Then it's a good look. I like it a lot. So I'll keep. I'll, I'll glue up Cassians together, and I'll probably keep this one separate. But onto the figure herself. Uh, pretty, pretty impressed with this one as well. She's a bit shorter in stature. So if you put them side by side. So nicely scaled. Just turn that light a fraction. There we go. So this is a good likeness. Um, the good thing about picking these up was I got to pick through about six gins. Um, there are at least six of each of these figures. I'm wishing I got a couple more troopers, but money didn't allow for it. But I got to pick the best painted ones out of the whole bunch. Um, and they look like they've just been put on the shelf, so... Really clean paint apps. None of them were terrible. Um, that's that's what I was meaning to point out. That none of the paint apps were bad. Um, you know, you, sometimes you get a little off miss bit of paint that comes on the face or something like that from the hair. But it wasn't much of that. There was a few little little nicks and bits and pieces. But I, I managed to pick through pick through and get the get best ones. So again, really nicely detailed figure. Really nicely sculpted. The jacket is awesome. I'm really a big fan of this sort of jacket parka vest. Same thing with the belt as Cassian. That's sort of just sitting over the top and it is pegged to the leg. It, they're just really good figures. And um, yeah, it's been so much six inch for a while. I've just forgotten how good the quality was on the three and three quarter inch feet articulated figures. Feel like it's been a while and hopefully it means it's a return to fame but um the articulation with Jin is just as good as Cassian she's got the ball jointed head the ball hinged shoulders and elbows um he's only got the swivel wrists actually because the hands are a little bit nimble um give me two seconds just have a look yeah so her wrists are a little bit nimble so she only gets the swivel swivel wrist but that's kind that's cool um she's got the ball jointed torso there which also looks really nicely molded And so it looks good. It's hidden well behind the jacket as well. It's got the ball hinge shot, uh, hips. Again, the swivel cut thighs. 
uh, ankles, or oh, knees and ankles, ball joint, both have ball joints. So another great figure. These two go fantastically together. And um, yeah, the, the Rogue One hype train is in full effect. So hopefully I can get all four of these figure reviews out before Rogue One. I'm going to try my darndest to get them all uploaded. I mean, we've got two, we've got two weeks. Well, more than that now, three weeks. So yeah, I'll have all these up. So next up will be the Imperial Death Trooper and the Scarif Trooper. Not in this particular order. Um, we'll see what happens. You anyway, know, hope you've enjoyed this review. Any thoughts and feedback in the comments below. And uh, we'll catch you very soon. Stay tuned for the next video. And until then, may the Force be with you.